Right now it's Money Monday and Jennifer Wallace is here with how finances, they don't have to be the number one problem in marriages anymore. They don't. Right. right. They but don't. It, it, they are a big problem. They are. And because you're bringing two backgrounds together and trying mm -hmm. to manage it. And so it can really be a problem, but it doesn't have to be that way. Just like you said. Okay. First thing you need to do is kind of make it a priority and set aside some time. Right. If you know that at two o'clock on Sunday, you're going to sit down and discuss your finances then mm -hmm. it takes a lot of the emotion out of it. That's a much better plan than when the overdraft notice comes in the mail. Yeah. That's not yeah, the that's ideal time. That's an conversation. Not the <laughs> ideal time to talk about your finances. But if you know you're going to sit down and you're going to plan out your weekly budget or your, you know, your grocery budget, things like that, it takes the emotion out of it. And, and that's key because that's when the fights start, when you're highly emotional. Mm -hmm. Okay, your next tip, share duties. What do you mean? Well, if all of the burden falls on one person, it kind of puts you in that position to be the bad guy. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, to have to say, no, you can't, we can't afford that, you can't buy that. And so split it up, even if one of you is a better money manager than the other, if you split it up, maybe that person needs to balance the checkbook, but the other person could call around for insurance quotes or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. So play to each other's strengths, but share the duties so that it doesn't all fall on one person. Because okay. it is a big job. It's a, yes, it's a and huge job. And it's daunting. Job. Yes. It feels daunting. Yeah, but share, share, work on it together. <laughs> okay. Be a team. Yes. Okay, next part, be honest. Right. This is a hard one for a lot of people, especially I'm going to pick on the ladies for a minute. It's easy to take those shoes out of the box, put uh -huh. them in the shoe rack and act like they've always been there. Right. Cut off the tags of the dress, hang in the closet, do it. act yeah. like it's been there. Be honest about what you're spending. Be honest about your debt. Don't take out credit cards that the other person doesn't know about. You know, be honest about your credit reports. Show them to each other. Mm -hmm. And so just put everything out on the table. Don't keep secrets from each other. Because they're going to come out. They will come out. And also just living with that you know, the secret mm -hmm. that you're having to keep from the other person is really stressful. Right. So it's much easier, just don't even go down that road. Okay, your next one, consider an allowance for extra money. I love what this idea. Money? Some people think it's a little, you know, cheesy for adults to have an allowance, but I actually really love this idea mm -hmm. because some people are spenders and some people are savers. And if you say we have X number of dollars of disposable money after all of our household bills are paid and you have you know, $100 a month and you have $100 a month that you get to spend however you want. No questions asked. Right. It's not going to dip into your household budget. It's not going to mean something isn't going to get paid. Mm -hmm. But if you want to go put it in your savings account and look right. at your balance and be happy about that, <laughs> and you want to go buy shoes. <laughs> and be happy about that. And be happy about that. Then it's okay because it's not going to mean something isn't going to get paid, but you have a right to spend it or save it however you want. Fun and money. so it's it's fun money to do whatever you want with, but it isn't going to impact. It's not going to start a fight. Okay. okay. And your last tip is consider taking a, a class together, a money class together. Right, because you learn a lot of these tips in the classes that we teach, like Fiscally Fit Boot Camp. We have one coming up in May. And you can find out more about that on our website, fiscallyfitbootcamp.net. But you can learn how to manage money together, how your relationship with money and how you were raised handle, or how it impacts how you feel about money now and how you can work to those strengths and weaknesses and work together as a team. All Perfect. Right. Thanks, Jennifer. Thank Thanks you. For all if you have a question tips. for Jennifer, you can send it to her. Uh, you can email her at money at news9.net.